What's up, YouTube? We are coming at you with another review from the new ALC set. Today, we are gonna be talking about water. Obviously, I'm gonna leave that one because you guys know I love water. So we are gonna talk, we are gonna jump into it actually because I know we've got a bunch. Um, yeah, like a ton. Like a ton of cards of all of these. But anyway. It'll be a little bit shorter stuff than, hopefully, than our advanced elements. This video will run long no matter what. But yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, new water spirit. Look at that art. Yeah, wow, it's beautiful. Yeah. And we start that, because I did want to say we are going to start with the starter deck and go through the cards on there, and then we'll move over to the main pack set and yep. everything that goes along with that. Before we do, my buddy Isaac's got a couple things to say. Listen. Hey everyone, it's Isaac. If you want to support us, get merch, or pre-order the next set from GA, then you should check out our website. Over on our website, you'll find stickers, t-shirts, playmats, and material deck sleeve and the next set of Grand Archive for pre-order. So make sure to check that out. Also, if you like content, then you should check out our Patreon. Over there, we have an exclusive podcast series, extra gameplay videos, and articles written by us to help your competitive gameplay. In any case, if you like what we do here on YouTube, then don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help us out a lot. Thank you. Okay, and welcome back, and we are gonna jump right into it. So the first card today is going to be Essence of Blizzards. Yeah. This is a four cost item, Cleric Potion with Brew, one Adjuvant, one Catalyst, and that's all you need, those two. <laughs> and then you get to Sacrifice Essence of Blizzards. Deal one damage to target unit. If that unit is rested, deal one plus level damage to it instead. And this is the part that I think a lot of people forget about is until end of turn, allies enter the field rested. This does not have to be some big game ending level damage fireball to their face. This can also just be a, a potion when someone is trying to put two guys into play, they can't do it because mm -hmm. you they come in rested yeah. and then you can deal with it, right? So what do you guys think? Um, you know, uh, four cost, Allies into the field rested isn't there. If we were just playing as that, there's sudden snow, which is two cost or three cost, and there's uh, field rested. Three? Do you have to eat a floating memory for that, or that's just. That's to make it. I, I'm trying to remember all my cards. I now. think you have to eat a floating memory. It's two cost, but you have to eat a floating memory, yeah. Okay. And that being said, that is also something that you have to cast at that moment, right? Yeah. You sit there, it doesn't yep. give you the inevitability that that could happen. You don't have an option to cast it for free. And it also doesn't have the option of just fireballing your opponent yep. in the face. Yeah. Like, this is really cool too, because it can just always ping a squirrel. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. I will say, this can't be, once it's on the board, it can't be um, counterspelled. Counterspelled. Or negated. Right? Yep. So, or negated the activation of it. Now that we have more negates yeah. available to us, that is a super relevant thing. It is a really our, relevant thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, it's not going to be played in every deck. I don't even know if it'll be a staple. Uh, so I will. I don't give it a two. It's, it's a three. It's, um, it's hard too, because we're coming from recording the advanced yeah, elements, yeah. which advanced element cards are all inherently stronger because yeah. they're yeah. gate kept behind a certain level of the yeah. game. So I think we have to remember that too. Yeah. I think that this is in, so this is only going to be played in Water Cleric. Yeah. It's sure. a four, in my opinion. Because I don't mm -hmm. think in Water Cleric you don't play Essence of Blizzards. I think it can get you into a further part in the game as early as yeah. turn one, putting this down on the play. Mm -hmm. Like the first person, first turn, going playing this for four yeah. and being able to sit there. And if you're afraid of your opponent and what they could be doing, even if you're like an aggressive Water Cleric deck, that's insane to make it so that if you're in an ally mirror, their stuff comes in tapped, right? So mm -hmm. I think that that, for me, Definitely a four. Yeah, I'm giving it a three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Perfect. And we are, like I said, we're going to talk about them a little bit. Yeah. We'll talk about you more in the comments. Obviously, talk to us in Discord. Yeah. Patreon, we talk about this stuff deeply. So if you want some real, real in-depth videos and tons of more of exclusive content, definitely check that out. But that being said, we've got another negate for you. One <laughs> yeah. that's pretty dope. Yeah. Um, really cool art as well. The card is Flash Freeze. It is a four cost, fast action, cleric spell reaction. With class bonus, this card costs two less to activate. Boom. So for cleric, it's a two cost. Yeah. Negate target card activation unless its controller pays level. Banish this card that had its activation negated this way. So this card, what do you think? What do you think, Kaven? I I'll mean, let you start. 
if for specifically water cleric, mm -hmm. it is a five, yeah. honestly, yeah. because yeah. it is just a better frostbind, and we've already seen how good frostbind is. It's a scaling frostbind. It's a scaling frostbind, yes, because yeah. in the very early game, it is a worse frostbind. Yeah. But how often in the very, very early game are, are you, you doing frostbind? frostbind? Yeah. Yeah. No, it, I, I think it's a scaling frostbind, which does, I think, inherently also mean it's a better frostbind, mm -hmm. and also has synergy with cleric's negate uh, mm -hmm. yeah. uh astra negate it's and crazy. also we have we do have the ability early on so like even if we're level one and we were happen to hit two of those herbs that give us plus one level it's already inherently sure. pop pop i have a better frostbind yeah and even level one yeah you still you still can negate something because exactly. i might have to pay one for it right for so sure it, it's 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 great it is a it is a definitely a good card a negate you have to have to play with. I I've given it a four, maybe even a five. Honestly, it's that. I'm strong. giving it a five. I'll give it a five. Yeah. Yeah. It is a very good counter spell. Next up, we have Hypothermia, which is a two cost slow action cleric spell. I love this spell, by the way. Target rested ally gets minus four health until end of turn. And I do want to clarify that if an ally's health hits zero, it does in fact go to the graveyard. Yep. It dies. It dies. So that being said, this reads. Basically, two cost, do four damage. But better, because it's almost like it reads two, two cost, deal four, unpreventable damage. Exactly. Because their damage reductions can't stop this. Yes, they're rested. Yep. yep. And anything that's giving plus health, like favorable wins, is already stopping a card that says deal four damage. Yep. So I think this card's pretty good. And like everybody wanted Frostborn Apostle to be very good. Yeah. Because its effect was super strong. Yeah. But it was, it was expensive. Level and, two plus. And level two plus. That yep. was the big thing. But this, if it would have been this, able to yeah. do it early, dude. This is a card that you want to play more earlier. Yes. Yep. More early, yeah. So, so strong. Being able to just deal with a Gildas, an Ace, Ace of Protector, any of these cards, yeah. as soon as this, obviously it's slow, you gotta do it on your turn. But, good card. Rating? Uh, Rating? Four, easily. Uh, yeah, I'll give a. F well, I like the card so much. I'll go a four. I wanted to give it a five. I think yeah. it might be that strong. I'm going to give it a four, though, because it's not good in every situation. Yeah. 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 Now, this is a pretty cool card. It's an ally. Up next, it's Crustalin Distiller, which is a one three for three ally cleric human with class bonus on enter. If you've brewed a potion this turn, which is if you've used the top text of that potion that says get rid of two herbs to play it for free, then you get to draw a card into your memory. So this is a way that we can basically utilize a potion, get it into play, and then play this card to replace it and keep our hand. Yeah. Uh, and it's really nice, honestly, because brood potions, you're, up, you're, you're losing you're only one card for, yep. from hand. Yeah. So you're going to have enough cards to play this if you're going to brew a potion most mm -hmm. likely. So it's just like... If you're if you're playing some you want to play some allies if you're trying to build up a board a little bit with whatever kind of cleric you're building because this is cleric obviously um, it's a really strong card yeah I mean it's not it's but it's not instinct because it is just a one three that it's yeah, a one three it's, that, it's a one three that replaces itself yeah if you that's, that's what I'm saying it's like but if you just want to put like you want to play a potion but you still want to level up you're level two and you want to go to level three so you want to brew that potion because you you have the stuff for it yep so you want to put three cards down and it's replacing itself so you're not yep. losing card for hand so going up is actually a lot better so that's where i see its best case scenario yep because the again if you're this is probably being played in the control deck and in control yeah. they don't want to kill your allies they want to do damage to your face especially against cleric where you're trying to heal a bunch right mm -hmm. um and so the fact that it's kind of a pseudo taunt in a way you know like it's a, something that they have to kill or they want to kill um yeah, I'd give it a three though. It's yeah, I think it's cool. I, I we, like it a lot. Yeah, we definitely yeah. won't see it in I, every water yeah. cleric, but I think that it does have play. So yeah. I would say a three as well. A three. Yeah, that's a good card. Um, next up, we have Perfect <laughs> Repulsion, which is a fat, a two cost fast action cleric spell reaction. The next time target unit you control would take exactly X damage this turn prevent that damage, where X is the amount of cards in your memory. Draw a card if damage was prevented this way. So it can replace itself if you're able to meet all of the requirements, but it is definitely a very specific card. What do you what do you think, Isaac? I This is one of the earlier spoilers we yeah. saw, mm -hmm. and I have looked at this card so many times, I still don't really know how I actually truly feel about it, because yeah. like, part of me is like, Replacing itself and then gaining damage, insane. Like drawing a card and replacing itself, really good. How often can you perfectly line up? Because granted, it can. It's almost impossible for you to, unless you have 
course, fractals. But almost impossible for you to block anything that's dealing two mm-hmm. or, I guess, less, right? So two like would be two, easy. So, and that's two, why... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Two, you can. It'd be like three and four. Yeah. Well, that's why I think tricky. this card, if, if you've played Merlin, which a lot of you have, you know that a lot of times you're playing cards just to level up. Yeah. If you get to play this when you're going from level one to level two yeah. and you're staring down a water tempo deck that has two two threes on the board, yeah, yeah. you know you're getting hit for two. Yeah. So you go, okay, cool, pass. Pass, yep. And then you just put two down, stop that two damage, and draw a card. Yeah. And then... If they're not thinking, they could attack more and give you more. <laughs> yeah. It's the rest of the turn, right? So it's... Damage, where it's the, um, the next time. The next, next time. time. Oh, yeah, okay, just okay. next time. Okay, oh, thought, man, if they could do it. Well, I thought, I thought I just forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think cool. this is a card that'll be a little bit like, you really have to play with it to actually see how mm-hmm. functional it is, mm-hmm. but it does read like a five-star card. I feel like the more likely thing I'm going to use it for is to save another unit. Sure. Yeah. Or sorry, to save an ally. Yeah. Because I don't think I'm blocking two, three damage maybe to face, four damage to face. Unless you're just trying to get to your level three sure. and, and keep sure. as that's much health. I, yeah, but that's, that's the thing. That's why, I like that. that's why I think it's a five is because you can use it in an ally deck or yeah. in a control deck. Mm. Yeah. No, I, I, I like it. I, I like it a lot. I think that it's probably like a, a four. I, yeah. I think it could get played in a, in a tempo S deck. It I'm could gonna, get played in an aggressive deck. Yeah. Could, I'm, I'm definitely going to give a four. I'm yeah. getting rid of five. And I know I'm giving out so many more fives this set than I did at Yeah, FPC. you are. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's a good card. Now, here is everybody's <laughs> favorite infusion, Potion Infusion Clarity. It's a seven-cost fast-action cleric spell. With class bonus, this card costs two less to activate, so it becomes a five cost. Rest target potion. If you do, it gains on sacrifice, draw two cards until end of turn. That is a very powerful text, that text box. Yeah. What it's do you a think? plus one in itself, if you have a potion on board, sorry. It, yeah, if you have a potion on board, it's, it, it is definitely a plus one in itself, or at least you're breaking even from that potion you played plus this, right? What do you think, Kevin? There are no bad cards in this game right now that read draw two. <laughs> no. Amen. Pot agreed? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I give it a four. You think it's going to get played in every one? No, water I give it a three. I give it a three. But it, it is. It's really potion decks. It is a four, though. But yeah, I'll give it a I three. mean, if you you could argue playing this with just like a one play set of potions, honestly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just to, I mean, I don't think it's great in that world, but I think that anything that lets you draw two, obviously, pretty strong. It is kind of, the fact that it's a five drop is yeah. pretty rough. Yeah. yeah that's but the- what I kind of like the idea of, which you don't need it in this situation, is comboing with those level I three, know. where you get to just go through your entire deck, and you get to that one random potion infusion, well, and you're like, oh yeah, for free, I'm going to do I that. Do th- I, I was thinking about that. I was like, if, this, if you get this cost free from doing... Arisana star calling stuff yeah. yeah star calling stuff then it's obviously not incredibly yeah. strong yeah um there is definitely ways to abuse this card yeah 100 percent um i still think it's a three i don't think we'll see it in all yeah. water cleric decks but. I, I guess like the best way to talk about this card is that it's very scary to yeah, see a card yeah. say draw two cards mm-hmm. and i think they did a good job on that one yeah totally the next one we've got another one for you potion infusion frostbite it is a one cost fast action cleric spell that has rest target potion. If you do, it gains on sacrifice rest target unit. The next time that unit would take damage from a water element source this turn, it takes that much damage plus four instead until end of turn. This card seems good to me. Specifically yeah, oh yeah. because if you're doing the potion stuff and you're trying to use a potion to kill someone. Yeah, if you just put this <laughs> on, on the potion we talked about earlier, Essence of Blizzards, yeah. like... Even if you just ping them for one, which you wouldn't because you'd rest them. So can you choose which sacrifice happens first? 100%. Uh, that's yes. Okay. Yeah. So you can choose which sacrifice. That's what I thought you could do. So, so you would hit them with it, hit them with the rest that makes them take four damage more from yep. the water. Then the effect from Essence yes. of Blizzards would hit. They're already rested. Let's say you're level three to be safe. So you're going to hit them for one plus level, which is four. And then plus another four. Yep. So, you're, doing so you're hitting them for eight, for which little, is pretty for, cool. For a pretty cheap combo. Yeah. If you can get, especially if you get Essence of Blizzard for, to, for free. free. For free, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, if you get to do it for free, it's pretty brutal. Uh, I think that that like stuff it, will come up. I think it's a little gimmicky, but... I think it's... Yeah, I do think it's gimmicky, but I think it's... If that's what you're going for for potions... Yeah. That's probably what you're doing. No, I, I, I give it a three. I think if it was in a different color, I would give it a higher hmm. ranking. Gotcha. So if it was like... If fire, next time, fire hits you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, it's, but it, 
And it was from water element sources. It is. So yeah. it can be any kind of water damage we're dealing, whether it be a unit, or an ally, sorry, yeah. or a uh, spell that deals damage, like, I don't know, like, uh, what's... Freezing hail or mi something. Missiles or whatever. Yeah. 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 yeah, something that has to hit them with that water element. Yeah. But um, overall, I definitely think that, that if you are doing a water potion deck, which is not every deck, so I'm going to say it's a three. I because, a three as well. Because right. I think yep. it's a more specific deck. Yep. But it is. I think it will be in all potion variant water cleric decks. Pretty strong. Um, next up, we've got Stream of Consciousness, which is a two-cost fast action cleric spell with class bonus memory four plus. So you have to have four cards in your memory at least to get this. It has Glimpse three. Mm -hmm. Then its actual ability without class bonus is draw a card into your memory. So at worst, this is a two drop fast card that puts a card from the top of your deck into your memory. And since it's two cost and puts one into the memory, yep. this can be used to level up from levels one through three yep. by replacing itself mm -hmm. and having the perfect amount that you need no matter what yep. level you're going into. Mm -hmm. And Glimpse is a really nice and side I, bonus. I'm, I'm yep. gonna say that being able to do a scry the sky for three at instant speed is kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So I talked about how we needed more ways to manipulate the top of your deck on your opponent's turn um, when you're playing like a cleric that's really involved in star calling. Yeah. This is a great way to do that if we have good ways to put cards into our memory, right? If we're not just passing our turn with sure. seven, eight cards in hand and going, go. Nice thing is that, too, you can play one of these and respond to one of these as well. So if you yes. activate two of these in response to each other, you will get yeah. the full effect yeah. for each one. Yep. Very notable. Which yeah. is very important. Yep. Pretty cool. Yep. Pretty cool. I think that this card, honestly, in any Water Cleric deck is going to be a four. Uh, a four of. So I'm going to give it a four rating. I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four as well. I don't think there's a world where if you are leveling up and playing Water Cleric, you're not trying yeah, to no, make that happen. No point in that. Yeah. And now we're going to move on to the like actual main set of mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. ALC. We're try we'll try not to hit like the uh, the same ones. There are some repeats in in the starter decks as there are in the main deck. Yeah, there are definitely some. Um, some ones that kind of cross over, but we're gonna do our best. If we talk about the same one on accident, we'll probably cut that out in post. But that being said, let's hit you with a lineage break champion right mm -hmm. out the gate. A First lot of one people, that we're covering. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of people are really excited. Um, one of the really cool new things that the lineage break champions get is they actually have an element color attached to them. So if you were to, let's say, start off with a wind spirit and go into Xander and then go into Nico, Whiplash and <laughs> Lore, <laughs> boom, here she is. Yeah, it is super weird, but you would be able to have access to wind and water, yep. which is which is very cool and unique. Definitely a cool new thing that is added to the game sure. and is going to change deck building. But Nico, Whiplash of Lore, has 25 health. She's a level two. Whenever a card with floating memory is banished from your graveyard, put a lash counter on Nico. So on champion hit, you may have that opponent put the top X cards of their deck into their graveyard, where X is the amount of lash counters on on Nico. You're milling them. We're milling. Yep. That's what we're doing. I know one guy that's excited for a mill. If this read on attack, I would think that a mill deck is possible. The fact that it reads on champion head is pretty brutal. Yeah. Because mill decks, like, you're not going to want to be focusing on making your attacks connect, right? That's the issue. Fair. Yeah, I, I totally get it. And it is on champion head as well. Yes. Which is, like, really even more yeah, brutal. I mean, maybe a little... That's crazy if it wasn't on champion hit. Yeah. If it was like on. If it was on attack, on, hit, on going. Know. If it was on hit. Oh sure. If it's yeah. Just like allies, you're trying to like because they, like, you, you attack into a, like you have a one one, attack, or you have like a one two weapon. You attack into a squirrel, and they yeah. have to protect this stupid squirrel. Otherwise, they're gonna mill like. 10 that, cards. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's where I think she would be actually really good. Oh yeah, she'd be nuts. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she also has to get these lash counters by people using it is floating important memory. To that I personally, I think this is one of the. In a weird way, one of the better, they're, they're actually all pretty good, but it's its interesting that she's Guardian, because she is at 25 health, which is actually a lot of level sure. three health. Uh, yeah, that's a very good point. At. So, yeah. um, just something to note that, I mean, compare this to a level two uh, Rye, right? That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's a big difference. So, overall, I think she's probably like a two. Isaac? Super, super niche. Yeah, I want her to be better, but it's a two. I love Mill <laughs> to an extent. 
one. This is the first one. Oh, we gave wow, man. One. We only gave one in FCC. I know. Here we go. That's Caven's first. You heard it here. Nico is a one. It's my first one from the whole set. So next up, we have a Ranger card. We've got Cascading Round. It is a two damage, zero cost, Regalia item, Ranger Bullet with Renewable, um, which I think, did they all, all have that? Have, yeah. Yeah, all yeah. material deck bullets have that. Yeah, yeah got it. Yeah. So then we can tap it, we load it. That's what bullets do. Yep. And then on hit, put the top card of your deck into your graveyard. So it's a self mill for two damage, zero. Kind of cool. I love that it's a two damage, zero cost. That's big. And then on top of that, we do get the mill to the top. So I guess if we have some way to shape the top of our deck, or maybe we're playing weird cards that we can play from the grave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we could use things like Cascading Round, but what do you think, Caven? Three. Three? Yeah, I think that in most water ranger decks, they might just use this as a two damage bullet. Yeah, and there is a norm two damage bullet that you're probably going to play over because it has oh, an effect. Yeah. Uh, True. Probably like a two or a three then for me. Yeah, that's the thing. I, it's, I, it's, it's probably two. It's, it's, it's yeah. going to be a two or a three because. Let's give it two. Let's give it two. I don't know how much you want to mill your own deck in those specific yep. things. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to give two. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that that's a pretty safe one. It, I do like that it does two damage. Yep. self mill can be cool, but we haven't broke it yet. This one's cool. Next up we have, yeah, this one is very cool, and it's Crystalline Mirror. It's a zero-cost regalia item cleric accessory that whenever a Fantasia enters the field yep. under your control, glimpse one. Class bonus, Banish Crystalline Mirror. Destroy target item with memory cost zero or reserve cost three or less. Activate this ability only if you control three or more Fantasias. So this is a regalia that destroys regalia. Most pretty insane. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. We don't have a lot of that. Doesn't destroy weapon. Just make sure it's it yeah, is yeah. item. It has to be an item. Um so but it's also non regalia. But if you're doing, yeah. if you're playing Fantasia stuff, you might as well play this so you can also just glimpse one here and there. Yeah. Um, yeah, like all the time. Yeah. I go to four. I think for me. So you're playing cleric, water cleric, and it has to be a Fantasia-based water cleric where we're using a lot of Fantasia. So for me, probably a three, I guess, maybe even, because you can just play this if even if you only play a couple of Fantasias. Yeah, you're, just, you're, you're just buffing your Fantasia. Like, this is Glimpse Fractal becomes Glimpse 3, which is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, instead of Glimpse 2. It's not a big deal, but it's like, if you're not leveling up and you need to do what you need to do and then this yeah. is it uh i'm gonna give a four i'll go four four yeah okay i gave it the low one that's funny and came has left us so we'll take a quick intermission so next up we have mage bane lash which is a one cost zero four regalia weapon guardian lash so zero four on enter put a lash counter on your champion so hey there's a way to speed up our one rated nico Mage Bane Lash gets plus one attack for each Lash counter on your champion. Nico bonus, when your champion is, is dealt non-combat damage, recover two. Kind of cool. I think that's really cool. I, 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 that additional part's kind of really cool. Yeah. That part's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I'll give this a one. <laughs> I think the card's great. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. In a, va in a vacuum, I would give this higher than a one. Yeah. I just really don't see Nico being good. So and you don't see what, it being what, competitive What if you either? play just Guardian? And you get a one, one four weapon. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> it's still not good. In that world, I kind of like it a little bit, but <laughs> I still don't think it's good. I think there's way better options to materialize um, in Guardian. Never mind. I have to get into my blazing throw into level three Lorraine into dispersion for seven. Ooh. I guess. <laughs> Sure, buddy. Uh, that's a, that's a one for me, dog. Yeah. Um, I'm also gonna give it a one. I think that it's a really cool card. I think it does some really sweet stuff. I'm giving it two because it just doesn't have the like our on our rating. It, it doesn't have the support it needs, but it yeah. could. If they sure. were print another other last. I will stuff. say, as someone opening up many boxes of this set to sell singles for on our website, oh, you're gonna be so I happy do when you pull not want to pull these. So depressed to pull that. Definitely. Yeah, it, it's but. it's the <laughs> you are from the box. I would cry. Yeah. Airship cruiser. He's our next guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a three cost one three with range two and class bonus floating memory. So he's a one three for three with floating memory class bonus that also has range two. Mm -hmm. 
that's that's pretty strong. I think yeah. out the gates, like if we have a way to consistently get to ranged, mm -hmm. then he's a or three three distant. or distant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 distance so that he gets his range two bonus. Yeah. Then he's a three three for three, which is a above average stat line, it and is. that also has floating memory. So yeah. the stat, the average stat line for three drops is two three. Mm -hmm. So with what I some upside. Yeah. Yep. Um. So what I like about this card is that it does have that floating memory, which is really strong, mm -hmm. and. We've seen ranger cards that can give your entire board mm -hmm. um, range or distance yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And so I like that you can play this early, have a little bit of pressure and pressure that they don't necessarily want to kill because then it's just, it's three health, which is still a lot to get through and floating memory. So I like that it kind of like you put it down, poke them a little bit, but then it's threatening yeah. every single time. It's something that like they don't want to kill because yeah. it has floating memory, but they have yeah. to and kill because it has range too. They're straight up normal, which we haven't talked about yet, but they're straight up normal protection cards like gain distance. Like, yeah. It protects yeah. them and then it gives them distance. So And then you could like retaliate back. So like, yeah. it might even be a card that you literally play and you just say pass. If yeah. you kill it with a spell, I get my floating memory anyways. And yeah. if you try to kill it, I'm actually going to kill your thing back and protect mine or something yeah. crazy yeah. like that. Yeah, I think no, it's pretty good. It is. It is. Yeah. I think I'm going to give it, I don't think it's going to be an every no. single ranger deck but i do think that honestly in water ranger it might be sure. a, a staple so um it's a three it's a very i'm gonna give it a three, three but like the card's good yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what i mean yeah, yeah. yeah. cards are very, very good. solid three yeah for the architect you're gonna build around yeah definitely cool up next aqueous armor we've got a three cost fantasia guardian spell ally link so you guys know how <laughs> i feel about ally link so um Ally Link, if you are new and you're just checking out our videos, is a card that it, the object enters the field and it enters the field linked to a target ally. And if the link is broken, like let's say someone bounces your thing with a Zephyr or something like that, um, sacrifice this object. So at the beginning of your recollection phase, put the top card of your deck into your graveyard and class bonus, which is guardian, linked ally gets plus two health. Makes it a little more sturdy. It makes them a little more sturdy, and it, it does do that whole water self mill thing that they keep pushing. Yeah, they really like to push, give, keep giving self mill water cards that just aren't enough. Yep. That's how I look at this card, with every self mill card. I would <laughs> never give a card out of my hand to try to do this effect. No, this is a one for me. It's a one. I, I want to get to the one. Yeah. yeah, which is crazy that we all agree on a one. Yeah, and we water's all, all got one. water's got two water's, ones right now. Water's got three ones for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and for me too. Actually, I get a one. Dude, you have two ones for you. Two one one two, one for me. Yeah. One, you guys two, didn't three. You guys didn't uh, rate Nico as ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah yeah two. She gave her a two. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's sad. This is not the next card. Okay. <laughs> Awakened Deacon. Awakened Deacon. Okay, here we go. Excuse me. Two cost, one three. Ally Cleric Automaton. Automation, if you will. As long as you control two or more Fantasias, Awakened Deacon has Intercept. And then she also has Floating Memory. So we've got a one three for two with Floating Memory class bonus. Mm -hmm. And then as long as you control two or more Fantasias, it also has Intercept. That's not bad. If you're playing some, there's a lot of Fantasia synergies. So if you're playing some kind of Cleric around that stuff, this is amazing. There's also a lot of automaton synergies. Yeah, yeah, the, for yeah. sure. And so, as floating memory is a one three for two, which is a pretty good stat line. Yeah, it's pretty standard. And the fact that it has floating memory is a huge that's, bonus. That's a, yeah, yeah. So probably for me, I'm gonna give it a solid three. I, I think mean, it's yeah. a solid three. I think it's another good card. Yeah. You're gonna see it in a lot of water decks that are cleric because it right. is has that class bonus, but it but it's strong. Next up, we have awakened frost guard. <laughs> This is an interesting card. A lot of people have talked about this one online. We've got a 1 2 4 2 Ally Guardian Automaton with class bonus Foster. Now, Foster is not on this card, but if he, this is the first Foster card we've talked about, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, that being said, Foster is an ability that if this, if this ally has not taken damage since your last turn, since it, the last turn. Sen, no, it's since your last turn. Mm -hmm. Right? No, since last, it is since your last turn. If yes, so, even yeah, if you play yeah, yeah. it on their turn, it, it you haven't taken damage since your last Correct. turn, so you yes. get it. Yeah. So it's since your last turn, Foster. And then it gets a Foster ability. This one has, on Foster, you may banish up to two cards with floating memory from your graveyard. For each card banished this way, put a buff counter on Awakened Frost Guard and draw a card. 
You Awakened can, Frost Guard has vigor as long as it's fostered. You can also only foster once. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And once it's clarify, fostered, it's fostered. And to clarify yeah. what I mentioned this because I had a time in the Discord, even if this ally was somehow, let's say, like suppressed during your opponent's turn, and our straight up wasn't there, or you did it mm -hmm. somehow did it at the end of your turn, or if it was played during your opponent's turn, it will still foster at the beginning of your recollection. Which yep. completely makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Some people were saying no because it wasn't live, but just want to make sure that people know that even if it was suddenly entered on your opponent's turn, it hasn't taken damage yep. since your last All turn. All it's checking is, yeah. is, was damage taken, not yep. was this ally on board. Yep. 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 So, just want to clarify that. Yep. And, I mean, even as something as, like, it did take damage, and then I displaced it. Yeah. Yes. It resets it so yep. that it did not take damage. This ally yes. did yep. not take Exactly. Yep. So, this new that all being yep. said, so basically what we're saying, this card, it's it comes out, it's a 1-2. If it makes it to your next turn, or however you play it, um, you have the option to banish two floating memory to draw up to two cards if you get rid of two yeah. and get two buff counter. So it becomes at best a 3-4 that draws you two cards, but you lose two floating memory. Or 3-4 that draws you two cards. It has vigor, which is nice. Yeah. So it's like when it's fostered, yeah. This is like a bad Frostworn Paladin. Uh, bad or two cost draw two? I mean, two costs draw two. Oh, banish up to, and it has yep. to live. So banish it has two to foster cards. two. It has, has to live. Yep. I don't know if I'd say it's a bad. Well, personally, I don't know if yep. I would say it's a bad Frostworn Paladin. It is very similar to Frostworn Paladin in a lot I, of ways. I think this card is clearly meant to be played in Guardian. Yeah. And yeah. I think that if you're doing the Guardian thing of giving your champion taunt and this card sticking around and everything, it's not bad. If you start wins, I don't you like to Nico, and then you play this card. You can suppress it. You can make it less. <laughs> I mean, like, think about it as a Frostworn that you don't immediately have to have Floating Memory in the drop for, right? You can mm. wait until you use that Foster ability, and you don't have to do two. A yeah. two drop, two, three, that you removed one Floating Memory and drew one card from, and it's got Vigor now, is good. Yeah, because Foster keeps checking until it's fulfilled, I should say. Yeah. yeah. So even if you play on the turn, you, it can survive. As long as it slides multiple turns, it, has, it hasn't died yet or hasn't taken yeah. I'm still giving this a three. Mm. I just think it's better than a lot of people are saying it is. Mm. Sure. Eh. You can give it a two. That's okay. I, I would not give it a one because I do think that it's yeah. good. I think that it has situations where it's insane, and I also think that it is inherently a strong card. It's just fulfilling the foster and then also having the floating the extra floating memory in my yard to get rid of to get a two three a two I, a two three with vigor is strong but i think i would rather just play my frostworn get a three four with intercept and draw one card than have the opportunity to draw two personally sure. um but i do still think that the card is strong i'm gonna give it a two though I think it's a little more fringe. I think that it, you will see this card played. I don't. Sure. I, I 100 percent see. I, I will sit across from an opponent that plays an awakened frost guy. I, I can me. understand your reasoning. Yeah. What do you think, guys? He I'm thinks trying. it's a five. No. I'm, no. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of it as a two or a three because I feel like Guardian. I'm taking, spending too much time on this card. Yeah. But, it's okay. uh, Guardian doesn't. I don't know if it's going to sit there doing this and try to make that happen. I feel like they want to get to level three. That's fair. And, and that's so how I feel, I too. Give, I want to give a little yeah, I want give it two, probably, for that. Calculated Foresight. We've got a two-cost, slow-action ranger skill. Put the top two cards of your deck into your graveyard. Self-milling, baby. Then you may banish a card with floating memory from your graveyard. If you do, your champion gains ranged three until end of turn. Wow. This is... Maybe another one for me. Wow. Personally. I don't, I don't wow. care about doing this. I think banishing a card with floating memory is a really rough cost yes. on this card. Yeah. For three damage. If it didn't have that, I'd be much more considerate. Of this and card. I get that you get to mill too, but it's how? Slow speed too. How I also much? want to say it is a, it is a may. Yeah. So you don't have to. No, for sure. It could just be a mill two, to to put two cards down, mill two, hopefully this hit just, up. Is, a, is, is thing to level up. Is really going to do self? Yeah, mill? that's that's my. Maybe issue. if you're rushing to three, if you're rushing to three as fast as you can. Maybe. I, I'd play cards that replace himself over this. Yeah. If I'm rushing to three, I don't want to lose floating, floating memory. You don't have... Well, you wouldn't use the floating memory. So I won't give this uh, a one. You could late game, right? You use it late game. That's where I see the floating memory part happening, yeah. is late game. Once I'm in a situation where I play this on the turn, I pop off with Diana. Because, because you I'm also... Gonna, I'm giving my one. You, you have to be it. distant, too, to yeah. actually get the yes. range three bonus. I know. I thought I was thinking about... You, it, it, if you use it when you level up with <laughs> Diana, it's good. Sure. Good is, is good as a. I'm just saying uh, this card. There. This card. I haven't done all of the math, 
but I guarantee you that this card puts you into some situations where you could 100 to 0 someone with yeah. curse you could, yourself. Well, we already yeah. know. Calculated foresight to yeah. happen. We already know that there's, exactly. there's other cards in Umbra that you can use instead to do this effect. Yeah. And so if you're waiting until you're level 3 to use this anyways, I think you just use different Umbra cards. No, I'm saying if you are using self-curse Diana, that we have to curse ourselves with cards. Like we have to use those cards may, and maybe potentially utilize floating memory that is now basically useless. If we are going to have to play those curse cards on top of other cards, I mean, I guess, like, I get what you're saying. Like, you, you could use the Umbra, but I also do. And I, I, there's a card that I'm thinking of that I can remember, but I don't um, want to. <laughs> other ways to put cards in the graveyard that we could bring mm -hmm. back as well. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's a one, but I, I don't think it's a four. I, I think it's a, definitely a fringe card. It's going to be a two, but I do see some competitive usage in a, in a card like this. I'm between one and two myself, and I have hated on Rangers too much, so I won't give it a one, but it probably is a one. <laughs> I'll give it a two. Oh, there's an errata. You. <laughs> instead of your. your. Yeah. <laughs> All Perfect. right, next card. We are on. Conjured uh, Downpour. Oh, baby. I love this card. Okay, Conjured Downpour. Three cost, fast action, cleric spell. Until end of turn, whenever a unit attacks, that attack gets minus two attack. Class bonus. Memory four plus. Draw a card into your memory. Woo! It's pretty good. It's, that is pretty That's good. That's a big woo! That is a... If you're against the ally decks, if ally decks are prevalent, you can play this to take a lot less damage mm -hmm. and draw and replace itself mm -hmm. so you're not losing cards. You have to play one other thing on your turn before. Or I can use my regalia that lets me gather at instant speed. Yep. Um, well, <laughs> seriously. You, yeah. you, or some regalia that puts a card down or yep. whatever. Um, and then it's set to go because you're putting down three with this. So It's a weird version of Resolute Stand, yep. yeah. but it can replace itself, which is insane. It is. I, I love that... It is unit attacks as well, which is pretty cool. Yep. And uh, it's not target units. So it's no. it's, yep. it's every unit yep. that's attacked. So like, Onsol. That's the, I literally was going to bring up Onsol. Yeah. You know, it makes it so... It makes it worse. No, yeah. It doesn't it, stop it. It doesn't stop it. But the big reason that I think this card is super strong is the fact that it lets us draw a card in your memory. I don't know if it stops Onsol. I don't think they're considered units. They attack no, they are, as if they are no, allies. No, no. At, they attack as if they were allies. They're 100% units. Right? Aren't they? Oh, I no. don't, I they're, don't objects. Think they're, they're objects. They're objects that are attacking weapons. as if they yeah. were an yeah. ally. But, yeah. they're, but they're not allies either, so... They're not units. So and Units so are only allies and champions. Sure, so yeah. they are not technically allies, yeah. so it doesn't yeah. stop Onsol. It does not stop Onsol. Well, it, it would stop two damage from the Lorraine. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It's a really the bad resolute stand yeah. against, uh, against yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Onsol. But, but against units, against allies, yeah. very strong. It's a way to live on without... You know, I mean, Resolute only really has the negative when you play it for free, but it is very good in those situations. Yes. Yeah. What but, I do like is because it can replace itself, if you are against, like, a Rye as a Cleric, if you have Resolute Stand in your hand, that's a dead card. Mm -hmm. If you have this in your hand and yeah. you have a turn where you just didn't have much else to play, mm -hmm. you can play this and cycle at the very yep, least. Or yeah. And use it to level up. Yeah. yeah. I'd give this a five. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I know. I know. I was going to give it a five. Oh, wow. Why are you surprised that I said five then? Well, I, I just don't. I want to give it meta defining. Oh, uh, it's like a solid four, very high three for me. Gotcha. Yeah, I think I would. Because does every deck run it? Does every water deck? This run is it? just, in my opinion, if I'm an ally deck and I'm trying to play against water cleric, and they go, "Hey, you're not going to do pretty much any damage to me, and I'm not losing any resources against it," I'm going crap. Sure. Yeah, it's definitely a four for me. I think it's a, a strong. I, in our in our scoring, if yeah. I think about it, I don't it's think like, it's going to be an every water cleric deck. Maybe that maybe is more I'm aggressive. mixing my scorings a little yeah, bit yeah. between yeah. like a vacuum and our scoring. Yeah, I, I know I've been given a lot of vibes. Four. But yeah, I'll yeah, four. yeah. I think it's I think it might be a four because I even think this card has potential to be halfway decent in an aggressive deck. If I play yeah, one, sure. th one, two, three, and pass, and then they they you know, can't clear your board. Exactly. Yeah. That's a, huge. Yeah. So anyway, very good. Um, next up, we've got convalescent tonic which is a three cost item cleric potion, brew one Frasia. I love seeing a potion that has a one yeah. herb brew. That's awesome. Yeah. Sacrifice um, convalescent tunic, tonic, put up the two cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck, then draw that many cards. Recover three, another recover potion. Yeah, that's 
We haven't talked about Norm yet. I guess very cheap. Yeah, very cheap. One Frasia. Very strong. I I think that this card is. It, I'm going to give it a three because of the fact that I don't think you would play this in like an aggressive sure, yeah, water cleric, yeah, yeah. but I think this is almost an auto include in a slower yeah. water cleric deck. I'm going to give it a four because it's a pretty decent effect for only having one brew, right? Mm-hmm. One ingredient brew, which can also be a really good way for you to get your infusions off as well. Sure. Because this is a potion that you in a control deck would probably want to play basically at any point of the game. Yeah. And then it can help you bring out your infusions that are fairly strong effects as well. Some of the yeah. infusions, yeah. So true. if you think about it, you can go like level one, you get a Frasia off your level mm-hmm. one ev- and, uh, ability, and then on that turn you go tonic for free, and then you go five cost uh, infusion potion. Yeah. That's pretty sweet, that's right? Cool. Draw I don't two. Mind that. Um, and recover three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Three. Draw two, recover three is yeah. pretty brutal. I'm still, I'm still gonna give it a wow. three. Because, that's fair. Uh, I like that card. I I know I'm rating a lot. I, I don't high. think it's bad in any yeah. manner. I just think that it's good. Yeah, it's yeah. a good card. It's a good yeah. card. It's a, and it's a very. It's the first that we've seen so far going through our ratings. The first potion that has one herb. And yeah, here's herb. the card for why Ranger would mill themselves. Sure. But it's oh, still yeah. a Ranger card, so two. No. <laughs> <laughs> we have got Dahlia, CSR, Idyllic man. Dreamer, which is a 1-3 three for 3, unique ally Ranger Automaton that has class bonus on attack. Look at the top card of your deck. If it's a water element card, you may put it into your graveyard. Then it has Dahlia has ranged X, where X is the amount of water element cards in your graveyard. So if I have 10 water cards in my graveyard and she becomes distant, she is going to become an 11-3 when she attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good for self mill. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to give it a two. Super I'm, fringe. I'm, I'm non ironically giving it a two because yeah. it is not worth building around. It, I, with Lantern being as strong as it that's is, funny. It's, hard I, to, it's hard to give it a high rating. Specifically, also because it's a unique. Yeah. The sure. Unique hurts it so much. So sure. much. Because. It would be insane if it wasn't because right. we could have like four water cards in our deck, yeah. get distant. Now all of a sudden we have two of these guys on board and swing ten. Like that's and super good. I, I, so I'm someone's gonna get to level three ranger against me and play this card, and I'm gonna take like eleven damage from the stupid thing. And I'm gonna be annoyed. But yeah. it's way too much of a liability. This is the this is the exact. Also, this card you can, you can go to the next one. Yeah. Uh, what was wait, two two? I'll give it two because also this is exactly what Alan's trying to do with Lakeside Serpent. Yeah, mm-hmm. is and what we see with every single time there's a, 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 a meta deck that is really into graveyard stuff, or with you know based on a color, we see nullifying lantern and getting getting fracturized or being protected some way. Yeah, and now your whole deck is just turned off. Yeah, so. yeah, and people are gonna respect erupting. Yeah, and this also only has three health, not like serpent without which was on a five health body. Yeah, like, there there are just way too many ways to disrupt that card for it to be good enough to build around, and that's yeah. the only type of card that it is. It, yep. It's a build around card. Totally. Next up, we got Diffusive Block, Diffusive yeah. Block, which is a two cost fast action guardian skill reaction. This card costs one less to activate if you control a shield item and prevent the next two damage that would be dealt to target unit this turn. And then it has class bonus floating memory on top of that. It's a lot of text. It has a lot of text. For and a fa- I, I do love that it's fast, I obviously. Love that it's fast. Like, I mean, the fact that we have access to another cheap, fast action, prevent the next two damage. I know we talked about this on the Patreon yeah. a little bit, and we talked about uh, um, Deflecting Edge mm-hmm. yep. and Diffusive Block and the difference between the two and the fact that this block's damage, not just attack yep. damage, is a is a huge portion yes. and a big reason why it's only two and yep. not three. Yep. yep. So what do you guys think? And floating memory. I just it's want to throw that out there. So, Imagine deflecting edge. It's two floating cost memory. floating memory. You, pl- you play nothing. You pass. You protect a unit or an ally, and then you can level up to level three. This is obviously it's, it's only good. being used in Water Guardian, and yeah. for that reason, I'm giving it a four. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a four. Yeah, I think if you're playing Water Guardian, you're playing this card. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna give it a four as well. So boom, there we go. <laughs> Easy. Easy one. No <laughs> quickest one. Well, yeah. you can find a longer description on our page. Sure, but it, sure. it, Ooh, this card is super cool. Card to talk about. Yeah. This is a unique card. Okay. We got a two cost do- domain clear crosswords called Dormant Sacrificial Altar. On enter, draw a card into your memory. Sacrifice an automaton ally and a human ally. Put the top two cards of your deck 
into your graveyard. Yeah, so we are sacking our allies. <laughs> two unit, two allies. Two allies to put two cards from the top of our deck. Yeah, but guys, into our this, isn't, this isn't unique. So you can do. <laughs> you can kill off your whole board. Yeah, <laughs> but you can do that with one. But you could rotate them so they okay. all feel loved. To be real, okay. if you're playing Water Tony, you don't care about the sacrifice thing. Sure. All you care about is replacing itself. It costs two. You can go into level three. It is yeah. a domain that you can use for other it's effects. It's just a two drop cycle that <laughs> reduces your other yeah. stuff. That is yeah. why I. It's so funny that you said it. That was my exact yeah. reasoning. I was like, this card is terrible. You could not have that. I'm going to give it a four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to give it a three. And if it, if it didn't. If it, it didn't have that effect, I literally wouldn't care. I'm giving this card a one in the way that it's meant to be used, but overall <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is a three. Yeah. 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 yeah I want to give it, uh, it's, it's a, I, every water Tony deck. Probably. Other than aggro. Yeah. yeah. So I guess a Which three I technically. Three. Because uh, Tony is aggro is going to There go will be an aggressive fire deck. Or something yeah, like yeah. That. There yeah. probably might be probably a water one. aggressive maybe, one. Maybe, um, yeah. I'll give it a three. It's a very good I'm gonna give it a. Th I changed mine to three because of that. Get rid of a, a sacrifice and automaton. I don't yeah. care about that text. At all. And every yeah. level three Tony though will play this because yeah. it. Your domains. Yeah. You're making domains as long as you're going into starter deck Tony, and this is just a domain that replaces itself, helps you level up, and lowers the cost yeah. of your. You can smash domain. with the obelisk, and now you've not really sacrificed Boom. anything. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So good, dude. It's such a trash. It's card, almost it's a four good. because it. <laughs> Only because it's a two-drop domain that uh, replaces on, itself. On enter, its ability, unplayable. <laughs> yeah. Unusable, absolute waste of time. Put four of them in your deck. <laughs> Next card. We, always, we already we talked already about this one, one. Yep. so we can skip this one. Hey, we, we recognize it. That's our first one. And that, that one, too, and that. Oh, we haven't, okay. done, the, we haven't done the third one. No, we did. This one? Yeah, we did that one. No. No, we it's did a different. We one. did not. Do it's that. a different. Yep, we did, we did, not did a do different. That. One. It's a different bullet. It's a different bullet that has two power. Mm -hmm. But this is freezing round. Two damage, two cost. Item ranger bullet goes in. Does not go in material that goes in your main deck. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna tap it to load it, like we do with all of our bullets, and then we've got or rust it. Sorry. On champion hit, that player banishes a card at random from their memory. Return that card to their memory at the beginning of their next end phase, and then class bonus floating memory. This card's dope. It's Chilling Touch that lets you attack for two. And you guys know I love Chilling Touch, even though you guys hate on yeah, Chilling Touch. Yeah, it's Chilling Touch as long as you hit. And that's why I don't like. You have to Again, hit. I've already said that about Ranger. I don't like that everything has to hit. On Champion hit as well, which mm -hmm. is really important. I'll give it a three, I guess. Yeah, I think that it's probably like a three, personally. I don't see it being like a four. Ranger, Water Ranger's probably going to play this. I'll give it a three. Yeah. It's good. Three. It's fine. Its ability is really strong when you hit. Yeah. And at worst, I guess it's floating it's, memory. Yeah, that's the thing. It's floating memory. Yeah. It's two cost, floating memory. It's a two attack, floating memory. So yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Um, frigid bash. It's like savage slash, kind of. Yeah. Anyway, it frigid is. bash. Um, a three cost, two damage I attack see. guardian shield. This card costs two less to activate if you control a shield item, so it becomes a one cost. Has class bonus on hit. The hit unit doesn't wake up during its controller's next wake up phase unless that player pays two. One cost, wow. deal two. It, that's strong. Yep. Yep. Um, with an on hit. With an on hit. Doesn't have to be champion. Champion. But it sh probably should be if you want to get the on hit effect that is more I mean, it useful. Could, I mean, it's really good against things like Asins, against Gildas's, against Lancelot. Yeah, if, 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 if something's. What I, what I really like about this is that you can use this into a, an ally, like an Asin that's rested yeah. or something like that, and they will want to protect the first damage that that's about to take. Yeah. But if you have a two attack ally and you're trying to do this, you don't have to go ally and yeah. then a follow up swing. Yeah. If you do this and then they protect it, you're like, okay, well, I can't kill my other allies, whatever, I'll focus on another target, yeah. right? Yeah. It, you don't it, waste it doesn't an force attack. them to, to, yeah, yeah, that's what I you like You have to have it. a shield out, though, so you have to take a turn to have done right, that. Right, right. Uh, rating? I have to give it two. I know. <laughs> yeah, but it is cool. It's, I, cool I wanna, I wanna, it's not bad, but it's... I want to watch it. Yeah. I'm going to say two as yeah. well. I want to watch it for sure. Now, it, yeah, this is an interesting This, this one's yeah. cool. This is Genie Gifted Mechanist. We've got... Unique ally, cleric human, zero two, four three, two, pay two. you pay two and rest it, banish a card from your graveyard. If the banished card was an automaton ally card, summon an automaton drone token. Then if the banished card had floating memory, 
put two buff counters on an automaton ally you control. It's pretty interesting. It's, if you already have an automaton ally, you can just go for the floating memory and buff something. If you don't have an automaton ally, you can... I think it has to meet the first before the second, just because it says then. That was what I was curious about. I if thought... if the banished card ha was an automaton ally card, summon an automaton drone token. I thought because it says then you don't have I, to. I think you can I think actually now, either way. I know. think you're right. Yeah. I actually, now that I think about it deeper, yeah. I think you're it's right. It's interesting. It, I would almost... Like it's listed like this because if you banish an automaton ally that has yeah, yeah, floating yeah, memory, yeah. it does both. Yeah, it yeah. gives it yeah, gives yeah, a yeah. buff to it. A hundred percent. I think it's really cool. Or you can give a buff to it. But yeah, I'm yeah. going to give it a two. Yeah, I wish I had three health. Yeah, the two health is what killed it. To it's me. it's pretty brutal. It, it it can die so easily. I do love that it enters and then the turn you play it, it can make a three three sure. and draw you a card. And for that reason, I think if. If you are in some form of automaton, draw you a card. card. Or no, sorry, I didn't mean draw you buff, a card. I meant it? I meant buff it. Yeah. yeah, I just said draw a card. Um, but I meant it can put an automaton mm -hmm. drone and and buff it, mm -hmm. um, which is super good, making a three three. So in that world, for for five, I guess you're getting a three five, which doesn't feel that good actually. So great, but if you get to reuse it. And it ta uh, Tenoris can ta be taunted, so you, you might survive. That's what I'm saying. It's a cool card, and maybe it does better, yeah. but yeah, I think realistically, it's probably a two. I'll give it two. He's cool, though. I yeah. Just, yeah. Does, does he, like he, he has a... I think he has a CSR, he has a CSR, right? CSR. Yeah. I think he's an event pack CSR. I haven't done that. Did this, have not done this one. Oops. All right, next up, we've got Crystallin Archer. The two cost, one, two, ally ranger human with class bonus ranged three. On attack, you may banish a card with floating memory from your graveyard. If you do, draw a card and Crystallin Archer becomes distant. So 4-2 if you can banish floating memory. 4-2 if you can banish they're it. That draws push, you a card. They're trying to push the, the mill ranger. Yeah. Self mill ranger. Yeah. That, I mean, if you are playing that, this card is like one of your bombs. And it's yeah. a two drop. Yeah. Like, this is an, a great card. But I would almost say even not, it's still a two cost 1-2 that has range 3. So it's mm -hmm. a two cost... Four two. So if you're able to give your board distant often, regardless of it's on attack, mm -hmm. sure, it's pretty solid. It also, this is one of the first cards we've seen that has range that can give itself distant. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. What, uh, something to remember. Like it is very yeah. good. The fact yep. that you can get rid of a floating memory, you get to replace that floating memory for a card. So you kind of yeah. go for a half card to a whole not, card. Not, yep. not even, not even, a, yeah, not even a self mill. Like no, it, it's it's. It's almost like a spell in a way. That's how yeah. it's. It's one of those on a stick cards that we talked about in FTC. And videos. I love that it's on attack and not yeah. on yeah. hit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. I mean, honestly, you're playing Water Ranger. You're probably playing this. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you? Honestly, yeah. at worst, it's it's it, a it's a uh, it's not quite a it's, it's a not four. a it's, it's a three. It's, it's, it's a, a three. Low, I know it's a low four because of range. Yeah. Yeah. It's a three to range. four. Yeah. It's a three to four. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a three. Personally. I'll give it a yeah. four to make people happy. I'll give it a three. We did that one. We did Claire. We did that one. Yep. We did that one. We're here. Yay. <laughs> Reconnaissance field. Oh, this one's interesting. This is a three cost Fantasia Ranger spell with on enter, look at target opponent's hand and memory. I love that. Yeah. Love, love of that. And then class bonus, rest, target unit gains range one and true sight until end of turn. That's this, pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And this, this is also a good part to add a little bit of knowledge to you if you're new to range, which we all are, but range does in fact stack. It stacks. It doesn't so, replace or go with the highest one or whatever. Exactly. So if something already has range too, like, hey, that last guy we and talked is, about. Yep. And, and this, we do this, it gives it another ranged ability. Yep. So. Uh, and this is unit, so you can do your champion. Yep. Also, the information is sick. Yeah, I love the that. The information is crazy, and True Sight is an incredibly yeah. strong key. Yeah. Especially with all of the new Give Your Stuff yes. style cards. Yeah. I would probably give this a four. Yeah, I want to give it a four. Yeah. Um, it's funny, I don't think you play a four of necessarily. No. But it's such a solid card yep. to add into a Ranger water deck. Yeah, yep. I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree with you guys. Seems like a two to three of in a deck. Yep. Okay. But you want to see one. Refresh yeah. Chamber. Yeah. Refresh Chamber. Is a two cost slow action ranger skill that reads materialize a bullet card from your material deck. Then you may banish a card with floating memory from your graveyard. If you do, put refresh chamber into your memory. Okay, what do you guys think? Uh, I don't want to use 
a floating memory that way. Yeah. I actually really like this card as like a late game card. Yeah. Being able to bring out because you mater it materializes a bullet card. Yeah. yeah. And I and it is so we can do like a advanced element bullet. It doesn't have to be just water, right? Sure. So that's cool. Um, once we're level three, obviously. It, and then if you happen to have a floating memory, you don't have to do a floating Right. Open. Yep. If you happen to have it, you can utilize that floating memory with a card, which you know, I, I really enjoy being able to utilize yeah. that resource in some way. In the late game, it's Fine. much better. Early on, it's I, kind I of mid. I'm going to give it a three, and that's, I think, being a little generous. I was just going to say two. Yeah. So. I'm still, I think... There is a really cool... Um, I, I've thought of one situation where I really like this card, and it's when you're playing against the Merlid player, and they are in Lorraine level one, and That's you cute. have yeah. a floating memory, but you want to level up to level three next turn, and you know they're going to go into Merlin yep. level two. Yep. Using this card and then eating it and putting it back I to like have that. three cards. That's very, that's very cool. It's it's one interaction. It's super sure. like fringe, but it, it it's, could it's happen. Not, it's not even that fringe. No, yeah. It's a very real possibility. So that being said, with that situation. I think this card has potential, especially late game. I'm going to give it a three. I, I don't think it's going to be in every single Water Ranger deck, but I yeah. do think you will see this card. It's not a card that you'll maybe see at your locals or a random sure, online event. I'll, I'll I, stick with my two. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's about right. A yeah. two and a three. I'll yeah. give it both. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's fair. Perfect. Next uh, up. Oh, the other one. The other one. Are you guys ready? We got Rhyme yeah. Soul Bishop. Three costs, two, two. Ally cleric human, that on entry you may banish a card with floating memory from your graveyard. If you do, draw a card. And then class bonus, floating memory. So it's a three drop, two, two, with floating memory if you're a cleric, that on enter we can banish a floating to draw a card. We've already seen flame rune swordsman, three cost, two, two, class bonus, floating mm -hmm. memory. That's be it. incredibly used yeah. in the format so far. Now you give it an extra effect on top, but it is in water. But water does have a lot of self mill, so. So are we playing self mill with this, dude? I don't think you have to. I don't I, think you have to play. I self think I love yeah. that it's a two two for three that has floating to begin with. So if we're in some form of mid range to aggressive, out yeah. the gates. But then on top of that, if you draw this card late game, you can still utilize a floating yeah. memory that you may. I have. I do like this. It, I'm giving this a four. Oh, damn. I'm, I'm giving it a four. I will give it a three as well. Um, I think that is very good. I think we will it's see worse it. Worse than flame rune still, and because of the color it's in. And, and the yeah. class as well. Yeah. Yes. Maybe yes. my force too high because it's specifically yes. in Cleric. If it was in another class... I do also want to say the reason Plan Room is so good is he has two classes. For sure. Right? For sure. Yeah. Which, so I, I should probably... If this was like three. Cleric yeah. Ranger or something... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that would That'd be, be really kind of cool. Because cool. yeah. Cleric Ranger would be sweet, they probably then You guys missed this one. I should have been Cleric Ranger. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think it would have been too good. Because yeah, Ranger then probably the self-mill I think would actually be good. Yeah, yeah. But that's good. We want that, right? They're pushing that. Like, let's see it. That was would have been so good for that. anyway <laughs> good card but i'm gonna a, give it a three it's a good way also for cleric to get extra cards down in their memory for sure but keep maintaining value yeah so good dude that I, card I is like actually it. Really I, good. i'm gonna stick with my four that's fine here we go i was excited about this card it was, was one of the fun. early ones we saw yeah. yeah um so we've got deep sprite diver which is a four cost two three with it's an ally ranger automaton as long as an opponent has four or more cards in their graveyard this card costs one less to activate so it becomes a three drop two three on enter, banish target card in a graveyard. So it's a mini scavenging raccoon with that ability. I like this card. Yeah, it, 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 I like this card a lot. It can cost only one more than scavenging raccoon, but it's an actual body. Yep. And it is, obviously yeah. it's only going to have the effect of scavenging raccoon, but yeah. that's, something that's, all that's you need. pretty good. There's, yeah. some, there's many times where I had a scavenging raccoon and I held it. Yep. We, we, we played a deck with it. I held it too long. Yep, because you were trying to get two cards yeah, when yeah. you really should have just got one. Yep. yep. I like this card for I like sure. This card I think that, and, and the fact that it's a 2-3 body yeah, is, a, yeah. is a huge it's thing. Big, and almost guaranteed it's going to cost three. Yep. Yeah. The, in a vacuum, I give this a four. On our scale, I can see giving it a three, though. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll go to three. I don't think that there is an aggressive Water Ranger deck that you play that doesn't play this. Yeah. Like aggressive to mid-range. I think this card has too much going on with it. Would you read it? Sorry. Me? Yeah. Uh, three. Okay. Three or four. But very good three card. Uh, if the only reason it's not a four is because I don't think that slower Water Ranger decks will play sure. it. Yeah. So that's why, off our rating, that's why it gets a three. But I think the card is incredibly powerful. Um, we have a few cards left. Ooh, this one's kind of cool. Yeah. So we've got Shatterfall Keep. It's a three cost unique domain cleric cataclysm that has 
Rest, banish a card with floating memory from your graveyard. Very common with this we've seen. Put the top two cards of your deck into your graveyard. And then it has upkeep. At the beginning of your recollection phase, if there are less than three water element cards in your graveyard, sacrifice Shatterfall It's so keep. funny if your opponent just plays a nullifying lantern and you have this, it just dies. Basically. <laughs> Dude, it's so rough. Um, it's, a, I, it's funny, Tenoris would rather play the other one. Yeah. yeah. Yo, I'm telling you. I keep thinking of Tenoris and Tenoris is so focused South on the Mill minions. Ranger, guys. This card is nuts, all right? We reuse that floating memory to put I mean, two cards there, of our deck it's back almost, into our graveyard. It's almost like a max. What's the right term where there's like almost enough cards pushed to self mill yeah. where it might eventually just work? Because yeah. as long as like if the self mill card is also floating memory and stuff, and it gets an effect because of floating memory, yeah. and then those, there's enough cards that basically just do that, then we're seeing enough. I'm self mill is becoming a thing. I'm giving this a two. I also I give, give it a two. two. But it, they're gonna. What's that? Um, like capacity, max capacity, or yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. over, like yeah. saturating the yeah. the amount yeah. of cards that do it. Um, next up, that card, I know it, it is what it is. Storm of Thorns. <laughs> this is a two cost fast action guardian skill reaction that reads: If damage would be dealt to a unit you control this turn, prevent one of that damage. If the damage prevented had a unit as its source, deal one damage to that unit. And then it also has floating memory. If a damage would be dealt to a unit you control this turn, prevent one of that damage. If the damage prevented had a unit as its source, deal one damage to that unit. So an Basically, ally if it's or it's coming in as combat damage, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. If it's one damage in throughout the entire turn, every single time you take damage, it prevents one too. Right. If if damage yeah, would be yeah. dealt to a unit, you control and this turn. floating memory. The floating memory is the thing that's like actually bumping up yeah. significantly. Oh yeah, it's a it's a two it's a fast action, two cost. It's gotta be good. It's. I think it's. Good. It's gotta be good. I, I'm gonna give this a four. You're gonna look, again. I always say this. You're going from level two to level three. You have the cards necessary to do that, and you're blocking probably if you're against if you're playing against, if you're playing this against that kind, deck. Kind of what I'm starting to realize, honestly, is if you're a two drop card that has floating memory, it doesn't. And you're fast. fast. It doesn't matter what yeah. you do. Yeah. You, <laughs> your card could read jump up and down and slap your opponent in the face. <laughs> That'd be really good. Card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, but. If if it is a two cost card with yeah. fast and floating memory, it's almost like instantly included into a deck yeah. that's trying to go to level three. It's just another way to get to level three. I like it quickly, and it also prevents some damage. It does, mm -hmm. and it can just like if they want to try to push damage through or some dumb things like this kills a squirrel. Yeah, yeah. Like or other one ones or like scavenging raccoon or like. Wait, what do you mean kills a squirrel? Because if a unit, damage back if to it, it it does one damage to it after they attack. So if the damage was dealt the unit as a source, it deals gotcha, one damage gotcha. to that unit. I honestly didn't even understand that sentence. I still was giving it a four. I think this card's crazy. Yeah, I think it's a four. Yeah. That's a very no, solid card. Storm we've, of Thorns. We've seen Fast Cure played in like every deck <laughs> that was going to level three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. It's very good. Next up, we have Stream of Consciousness. We did this one. No, we don't have that one. I lied <laughs> to your face. Um, we have Tactical Retreat, which is a three-cost, fast-action, ranger skill reaction that says target unit becomes distant. And it has floating memory. Three-cost, fast, floating memory. If the unit is defending, end the combat phase. That also. Oh, I, I That's this was why a, this card is oh, like decent. Yeah. If, the, if that unit is defending, end the combat phase. Yes. So they try to attack a unit on your board. Uh, um, your face with a big boy. Yeah, yep. And then you just go, okay, actually, next turn I'm going to hit you for more because I'm distant, and I'm also going to just stop this combat phase. Yep. And I'm going to have floating memory. Really? Yeah, that card's pretty strong, yeah. actually. I can see this potentially being a five. Fair. Very yeah. fair. You have to play around with it. We have more of these end the combat phase cards. Yep, and like we know you how scary play, those can be. You saw us play Glacial Guidance in yep, yep. the deck that you guys took to yep, Auckland. Auckland. Yep. So it's it's a very strong effect for yep. sure. Very uh, good. I'm going to give it a... I think this might be the only Ranger card I give it a five. I'm gonna I give think it, so. I think I'm going to give it a... Or no, I gave it a all. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's some other cards we gave five. I'm going to give it a three. Uh, well, I'm I, definitely I don't at least giving give... a four. What I don't think I'm going to play this in all my Water Ranger decks. Maybe really? I do. Maybe I do. Just because of the distance. So, just because not even get, it's just the floating memory yeah, you, for you three. Yeah, sometimes you just do this. Yeah. We, we just yeah. talked about how two cost floating memory fast <laughs> yes. is amazing. You're saying for one more, yeah. you're not going to take that an changes end everything. On that, phase. that changes everything to me. Yeah. 
but this it's is a, the, the two drop the, the two drop floating to me at fast is way better than three drop floating. Sure. Yeah, but ending combat phase and getting distance. It's it's really actually, the distance thing is actually thing. huge for me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm so, gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna give it four. I'll yeah. give it a very high four. I maybe it should be a five. But I hate Ranger and I'm giving it a five. Yeah, it's good. Uh, torrential blast. It's a three cost <laughs> fast action cleric spell. Class bonus. Put the top two cards of your deck in your graveyard. Deal an amount of damage to up to one target ally equal to the number of water element cards in your graveyard. Wow. wow. Cool, you can maybe mill, kill something. Maybe. And mill yourself some more if you're going to And then, yeah. Two? Two. Yeah. Actually, I will give it a three because there's potential for it to be a removal for water. Sure. Yeah, for and uh, also replacing itself with the floating memory. Yeah. I just don't like the water again. I don't, I don't care about the mill thing, Yeah. but there's a chance where it's like, you might just throw out the game, get enough cards in there where you actually could kill Majestic yeah. Spirit. Yeah. No, I get it. So. I get it. Vaporjet Shield Bearer. It's a two cost, one three ally, Guardian Automaton with Steadfast. And we haven't talked about Steadfast yet. No, we so did. We did. We, yeah. But was that in, in Neos? In Neos, yep. Okay, so we did talk about yep. how that works. You yep. can okay. retaliate while rested and doesn't need a rest to do so. Bam. Yeah. Yep. And it doesn't rest when it does. So it can yep. retaliate multiple times if it yep. is yes. awake. Um, class bonus on hit. Look at the top card of your deck. You may put that card into your graveyard. Hmm. We got self mill guardian coming at you. Yeah. I do like that actually, the, because if it's a card that's useless that I'm going to draw, or like a floating memory that I'm going to be forced to cast to get into my yard, I can put it down. Also, two drop one three is standard stats. Yeah. So, yeah. but with an additional bonus effect. So it's like it's a three. You know what I mean? Like it, for what kind of card it is, it's fine. Yeah. It's not great, but it's not bad. The getting to look at the top card mm -hmm. and then put it in your graveyard is a huge upside. Yeah, you don't have to, which is a nice thing. Yes. Because yeah. you can just look at it and be like, okay, dope, I'm drawing that card. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't force us it's to put two cards. Deck, it's a three. It's a three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go with a three as well. Is that our last card? Uh, let's double check. I think there might have been one more. one more. Last one, we've got Wave Rider Protector, which is a four cost of one four ally guardian human with class bonus taunt. Class bonus floating memory. Okay, that's it. It just had class bonus taunt and class bonus floating memory. So one four for four with taunt and floating memory. Meh. It's. They have to kill it if they're swinging at you. In in a world where you're against allies, it's pretty good because it's going to take at least two swings to kill it. Right now we play stalwart shield mate in some decks, which is a two cost zero two with floating. Yeah. So you can get more health for more cost. cost and one attack is relevant as well yep you can kill a squirrel that's swinging into it or something like that four is just always the such a four is a very awkward amount yeah. to pay for an ally especially yeah yeah with just that line i'm gonna give it a two with the realization that it could be a three i'm gonna say two as well i don't think you play this in most water guardians. No. I think we have way better. Yes. I think if we're yeah. trying to get a card, like if floating memory is the thing we care about in this card, because we don't care about its one four stat line. Yeah. We care about its four cost because that stinks. Yeah. And we're giving a taunter um, for that. But self mill guardian. Oh. Yeah, it's yes. probably two. I'm going to say two because self mill guardian does play four of this. Okay. And, I, and <laughs> that being said, I think that is that is yeah. that is our last water card from the set. Wow, that was water's quite... so polarizing. Yeah, cards are great. Cards are useless. Yeah, yeah. just absolutely all over the place. This this archetype in your face repeatedly self -mail. that no one wants to play. Self mill. Yeah, I, I just don't, whispers. I, I that, hate yeah. self. I, I love hate it. milling my opponent. Yeah, but self mill just feels horrible. Like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, man. I mean, it, it's still cool. <laughs> And and you know if you like these water cards, or also, if you like prove us wrong, please yeah. build a self mill deck. That's insane. I and there could be. That. Yeah. So far, we just haven't had good self mill. Yeah. And yeah. That's probably why we're also pessimistic. I need, I, I need to look at all the self mill cards because there's some from yeah. LC and FTC. They're probably if you slam them all together in one deck, it honestly might just work. Hey, yeah. What's that? And if you decide <laughs> to buy all those self mill cards, you should use our TCG Player affiliate yeah. link because if you do, that helps us out, and that's a way that you can do that without really spending any extra money. For sure. Right? So we gotta, get, we gotta do some ALC stuff. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah. Take it easy. Peace. Bye.